Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Wasa, 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 What's up, crypto nerds? Take a break from the bear market and let's learn how to make the Ethereum logo in Adobe Illustrator. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use this document, but if you want to start a new document, go to File, New. You can name it ETH logo or whatever you'd like. I'm going to choose 1,000 pixels by 1,000 pixels. You can change the units here. And everything else, I'm going to keep default, RGB, high raster, click Create. So you should see a blank artboard like this, but I'm going to actually work from this artboard. So uh, I do want to create a blank copy, though. So I'm going to go to Document Setup here. Create edit artboards. Then I'm going to hold Option, and I'm going to click and drag a copy to the side. And let's just get rid of that. Uh, so okay, um, uh, I'm going to be uh, creating this logo from scratch. Uh, I'm not going to trace the logo. I know I could if I'd like, but uh, I, I do want to kind of just do it from scratch. This is more of a technique tutorial. Um, you know, in case you want to build your own logo for your own crypto company or anything like that. Um, this is kind of a, how you would build it from scratch. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, I do want to go here first. Um, I just want to create some outlines. Uh, yours might be white and black like this. So f with the fill selected, I'm going to hit none. And for the stroke, I'm just going to click this CMYK magenta. I just want a kind of a bright color that I can see. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a, kind of this triangle shape that you see here. Um, so the way I'm going to do that is uh, you might see the rectangle or the ellipse tool, but it should have a drop down if you click and hold. And we want to go to the polygon tool. And now if you click and drag out, you might see a triangle. Yours might have more points like this. Just uh, hit your arrow key down all the way until you see the triangle. It won't go any lower than that. That'll reduce the points to just three. And now hold shift, and you can see this perfect triangle. Uh, I am just gonna like pull just a quick, you know, I'm not gonna trace it exactly, but I do wanna get sort of just the general shape, or, or size of it rather. It's gonna create that there. And I'm gonna pull it into this artboard. Uh, I, I would like to center it in this artboard, so with it highlighted, uh, I have my align panel here. If you don't see the align panel, go to window, align. And I'm going to make sure it's aligning to artboard. And I'm just going to hit align horizontal center. Make sure. Yep, there we go. So now I have a triangle in the center of the artboard. Uh, I want to create this uh, opposite triangle here that, that points down. So the way I'm going to do that is going to highlight my first triangle going to go to object, transform, reflect, and we want to reflect it on the horizontal axis. You can uh, toggle your preview to kind of see it. And I want to hit copy instead of OK because we want we want to keep our original triangle. So just hit copy. And now we can pull this down. I'm just going to pull it until it kind of clicks into place here. It looks pretty good. So now I want to create the second triangle here. So we're going to create a copy of this uh, upside down triangle. Just hold Option or Alt and you'll see this double icon. Click and drag up and hold Shift so it keeps in place. And yeah, we kind of want to intersect it with that center a uh, little X there. There we go. And now I want to pull the top, um, the top horizontal bar all the way down so it uh, aligns with the center line that we have with the other two. Okay, I want a second one. So I want to just uh, copy this triangle again, hit Option or Alt, click and drag up while holding Shift, and we're just going to go up, you know, somewhere around here, somewhere around 60 pixels if you're looking to in that box to the right, something like that. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to click and drag that top bar to intersect. So we want this line to come down, but we're going to fix that later. Uh, right now, we're just going to create this triangle that we see here. 
So we're gonna create, we're gonna uh, click the top triangle, hold Option, click and drag it down. You gotta do it to about there. And now we wanna take the bottom and drag it up to that center line. That's looking pretty good. And now we we'll just wanna draw one single line to go down the center. So we're gonna go to the line segment tool. It's kind of smart centering us already, but I'm just gonna click and hold shift and drag through the through the whole shape. I kind of want it to go outside. And uh, yeah, I'll make sure you're aligning the artboard. I'm gonna align that horizontal center again. Okay, let's check. I think that's all the shapes that we need. We have to edit them from here. But yeah, this is kind of what you want your shape to look like. Um, so now we're going to highlight everything and we're going to get rid of the shapes that we don't need using the Shape Builder tool. So you can go here, it's Shift M on your keyboard, or you can go here to this uh, icon and hit the Shape Builder tool. And now when you hover, you should see kind of the interface look like this. So you see the plus sign on the, uh, on the cursor right now. If you hold Option or Alt, you should see that minus sign. We just want to get rid of some shapes that we don't need, like this top line here and the bottom one here. So yeah, just holding Option or Alt, you can uh, subtract those uh, sections. We don't need these center lines. You'll see them highlight red when you can get rid of them. And everything else, uh, we, yeah, we want to get rid of this one here as well. I think everything else we need, that's all the shapes that we need to take away. But we do need to edit this shape here. So we're going to go out of the shape builder mode for a second and highlight in here. We're going to need to go to the direct selection tool because we need to pull this triangle shape down. So if you see this path, you can see it highlight. Just click on it and you should see this anchor point without holding anything else. Just click and now that anchor point is highlighted alone. And now we can pull that down. I'm going to hold shift and just move it down with my keys. Let's start over one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go six. And we'll pull this second shape the same way. Just highlight that end anchor point. And we'll pull it six. Actually, let's go five. Looking, looking here, it kind of looks like it's more of a five. So let's, let's pull it down five, sorry. So let's do it to the other side, holding shift, one, two, three, four, five. And we'll pull the second one, one, two, three, four, five. And we do want to join these now. So let's highlight both of those anchor points and then command J. And now those points are, are, are joined into one. Do it to the other side. Highlight both of them, command J, and now they're joined. Okay, looking at our outlines, I think that looks pretty good. Um, we might be able to like move a couple of pixels up like this, you know, just to fine tune it. But I think that's a, I think that looks pretty good actually. I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, we could pull out these shapes a little wider. You know, edit it however you want. Um, yeah, fine tune it. But now we want to, we actually want to fill it with uh, these gray colors and take away this magenta stroke. So the way we're going to do that is still with the Shape Builder tool. Highlight everything. Remember it's Shift M on your keyboard. Click that with everything highlighted and you should, you should see this interface. Uh, we want to change the colors though. So uh, go to Swatches and we're going to go to just kind of our grays. Let's, let's move down the swatches. Sorry. Pull this down so you can see it all. Uh, we want to kind of use these grays. So let's go to a lighter gray, something about here. And we're going to click this shape and this shape, and you see it fill gray. Then we're going to go two more down to this darker gray. It'll be these two end shapes on the right. And then let's go to this almost black, this left shape, and then the darkest in this gray panel to do the right. Oops, sorry, let's highlight it all and get rid of that magenta stroke. We can do that. 
by just hitting none with everything highlighted. So yeah, that's a pretty close version of the Ethereum logo, just made from scratch. A couple of things we could highlight it, but I do like it here. Um, using the direct select, I'm going to kind of make a blue version of it just for fun. Let's make sure our fill is highlighted instead of the stroke. I want a lighter color than that. Let's go real light. Let's click these two shapes and make that the CMYK. Then this dark one and this dark. These are just the default um, swatches, so you can just pull out your default swatches. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, pretty cool Ethereum logo. Um, now let's learn how to make just a pattern of all of these. Now that we have uh, the logo as fully editable, we can do whatever we want. Let's just highlight everything. I'm gonna group it. Just gonna do a quick resize, holding shift and pulling those corners. Give them a little space. Highlight everything just so it fits. Okay, and now that I have made just kind of, I just want this shape to repeat uh, infinitely. Um, so what I'm going to do is with all of them highlighted, I'm just going to drag that straight into the swatches panel here. And now you see this updated shape. And now I can just create, I'll just create a big circle in the center of the artboard. And we're going to hit this pattern swatch that we just created. And now we have our, our pattern filling uh, that shape. Let's use the scale tool, hit S on your keyboard, and I'm just going to double click the scale tool so we see it here. Let's not transform objects, let's just transform the pattern and with preview selected. We can create infinite Ethereum logos, um, you know, kind of like what we would want in real life only if we, if we had, had the money. Um, so yeah, that's, a, that's it, that's, just wanted to show how to make just kind of an infinite pattern. Uh, using the Ethereum logo. So uh, yeah, now you can make whatever Ethereum logo colors that you want. Um, Ethereum is a decentralized company, so you can uh, make your own merchandise out of the Ethereum logo. And uh, yeah, yeah, sell it and it's legal. Um, so yeah, um, don't be discouraged by uh, the bear market. It's only temporary and there's other ways that you can make money or, you know, Money's not everything. Just uh, learn how to create stuff like uh, you know, this Ethereum logo or something. Ah, uh, that's about as cheesy as, I, as I'm gonna. As, oh my God, that's about as cheesy as I'm gonna get. There we go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.